everyone, it's me Maddie and welcome back to another video. So today I have a very, very exciting video and I'm from the Christmas tree because this is my Christmas present from my mom. So she ended up buying me books and I have no idea what they are but she bought them off of my Amazon wish list. So today I'm going to unbox them. She's disappeared. Where did you go mom? Okay, so. You were struggling. You couldn't decide what you wanted off your wish list. Yes, I could not decide what I wanted off my wish list. So I came in there and I said, let me pick. It'll be more fun this way because you won't know what you're getting. Right? Yeah. So then I ordered some books, but they're not, they didn't all come at the same time. So I'll have to add in another clip. We'll have okay. to do it tomorrow probably. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. She's going to hand it to me. Okay. okay. All right, so we're going to start with this one here. It must have shipped all by itself. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. All right, I hope you like it. I hope I did okay, a good it's choice. It's a thinner paperback. It's a paper. Weren't, weren't they all paperback? I, whatever one was cheaper. This one's really thin, though. Okay, I have no idea what it is. She got me Spin the Dawn. Okay, so this is a Mulan retelling, I believe. Now, why? Don't open it yet. I don't want to see it. You won't be able to see it. It's a okay. big old box. Um, why, Mom, did you pick this book? Well, mainly I picked it because it Mom, was on. Mom, I can see into it. Uh, mainly down. I picked it because it was on the wish list. Okay, but like. What did you think when you read the description? I didn't read the description. You said you read every description. I read the prices on all of them. Oh, and you picked the cheapest ones. No. Well, I, well, I picked the cheapest <laughs> ones, yeah. I mean, I guess technically I did. Okay, is that all you want to say about this one? I don't. I'm not a fantasy person. I'm only nonfiction, so I wouldn't have known. You put them on the list, so I figured you had already done all the investigative work. Yes. So, I'll read you what the little elevator pitch is, okay? okay? A girl in disguise, three legendary dresses, the competition of a lifetime. So, I <laughs> so I think that this, from what I know, it's like a Mulan retelling, and it's got like a dressmaking company, but it's called The Blood of Stars. So, it's got blood in it, which is perfect. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, ready for the next one. All right, close your eyes. They're closed. This one's pretty. Okay. Oh, this is like a matte cover. It's a slickery cover. The Wrath in the Dawn by Renee Adier. I had a feeling you were going to get this because when you came in, you were like eyeing it on the, you're like, ooh, what's this one? I was? Yeah, like you kept like scrolling back to it. Okay, so this one, I've got a webtoon like adapted into like a comic on the internet. So I'm very excited to read this and then read the webtoon. Um, what did you think about this one? Don't just say the wish list for all of them. Like what did you think? Did you read this description? Oh, I did not. You, she told me she had to read all the descriptions and you didn't even read them. Who told me I had to? You told me, you said you, said you were gonna go through and read all the descriptions. I said that? Yeah. Oh, I must have been lying to you. <laughs> I had no intentions of reading that. I knew exactly what I was going to get when I sat down there. Oh. It only took, me, it took, exactly? me, five, it took me five minutes to complete my huh. order. Well, this one's elevator pitch is she came for revenge. Will she stay for love? This one, the character's, I think, sister or friend is taken by, like, the prince. And then the prince kills all. He gets Each night takes a new wife only to have her killed by sunrise. So she plans to go and kill him, and then she falls in love. So now she's got. Pick. So, are any either of these books sequels? These are both the first books in the series. Oh, Lord, help my checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you liked this cover? I do think that. I mean, I hadn't paid any attention until I opened the box here, and it was laying here, and I thought it caught my eye, yes. I felt that, I felt that this one had, like, a map. So, are finish. you happy with both those choices, or would you have not wanted either one of those? I'm happy with both of them. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have no idea how many books you even got me. Okay, this is kind of like the same cover as the first one. Okay. The Frozen Prince. Okay, this is the one that I knew was coming. 
Because of, oh, because of, because they of told Kindle. You Kindle. That, so yeah. basically, I got rid of the Amazon app, but I have the Kindle app, and it said, um, uh, read the beginning of this book, and it had the Frozen Prince on the title, um, before it arrives. And I was like, dang it. So I turned off my notifications. So you knew that one was coming. I knew this one was coming. Oh. But I'm excited to read this. So mom actually bought me the first one um, in January at Barnes and Noble and I read it in March in like 24 hours. Um, and it's got Nock who's an assassin, but he's like dead. So that's the second book. In this series. is the second book. I read the first one, which I hate these covers so much. Look at this cover. Isn't it ugly? It's kind of, I think it doesn't look that good in my opinion. I don't like these covers, but I'll tell you what the little pitch at the top. I will fight for her for all of us until I have nothing left to give. Now, I don't really remember how the first one ended. It was kind of forgettable, so I will have to reread that one probably, but I'm very excited for this because I loved everything about the first one. So all okay. right. Okay. So are you happy with my choices? Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> That's a pretty big box for only three of them. If that's it, that's okay. <laughs> I'll cut it out. Okay, alright. Oh, this one's a skinny one. I know what this is. I can tell right now because this is by uh, Ashley Herring Blake, isn't it? I don't even have to flip it around. Is it by Ashley Herring? Nope. It's not? Nope. Oh, it feels just like her first book. The False Prince! Oh, okay. So I saw this one off of Troy, and he absolutely loved this one. So, I don't know what this is. Four boys, one treacherous plan, an entire kingdom to fool. But Troy loved this one, so I added it to my uh, list. This is a very, this is a short little book, in my opinion. Um, all right, this one has four books. Oh, great. And you bought the first one. Oh, great. Good for me. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay. Is there... There's how, more. How, oh, my God. You got all this for $25? <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't have a book from Ashley, whoever. I must have not. Oh, you didn't get one from Okay. Well, I just thought that one was it because it was very similar. Okay. I don't know what this is. Aru Shawn, The End of Time by Roshni Chashni. I'm sorry if I just butchered her name. This one, this one was only $6. This one was a cheap one. <laughs> uh, but I can read this with Granny. So, good. Pretty good. This one is um, Indian, I think, culture. I'm not sure though. So there's a, so the, you some of them are hardback and some of them are paperback. What do you do? Just go in there and pick whichever one's cheaper at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Wait, you got me a hardcover? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> okay, how many did you get me? <laughs> oh, skinny hardcover. Okay, that doesn't really help me. I don't know which one of these is skinny. Okay. When life gives you mangoes. Oh, this is another middle grade. Okay, I've heard really good things about this one. I didn't know this was this skinny. But this one was really popular this year. Um, and this one is the main character lost her memory last summer. So you're kind of like trying to figure out how she lost it. This is so tiny. Look at it. It's a little baby. And then, of course, you have to undress it. And it's just bright pink. You okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sad. No, okay. I'm not sad. You're sad that the fact that you bought so many? Um, all right. This is exciting. Okay. All right. Oh, my God, Mom. You got me way too many. Okay. Want me to sit in the back? No, I don't. Uh, okay. This is a longer one. This is a, this is a floppy one. It's a little bit. Okay. The Bridge Kingdom 2 Mother. This one was $14. This is more expensive. What if you fell in love with the one person you swore to destroy? So, as you can see, I have a thing for enemies to lovers, don't I, Mom? I've heard really good things about this one, though. Um, basically, this person goes to kill the person who's destroying her kingdom and falls in love. Sounds very similar to that. <laughs> they all sound about the same. All right. I didn't know this was the type of paperback it was. I thought it was a little bit like a smaller, thicker one. But this is cool. This is cool. Okay. Is that it? All right. There's one more. Oh, my God. In this box. Okay. Oh my god, one more in this box? My goodness, Mom. Okay, I think I know what this one is because when you said hardcover, I thought Jade City, but this might not be Jade City because I have it in paperback, so I don't know what it is. Okay. My Dark Vanessa, you got me this one. Okay, okay. I don't really know what to say, but I, you 
uh, asked me what this one was about. So she got me My Dark Vanessa, which I don't usually read books in this literary fiction genre, but I'm excited. Um, okay, I'll read you what it says, because you asked what it was and I didn't really know how to explain it. So, exploring a psychological dynamics of a relationship between a precious yet naive teenager and her magenta and manipulative teacher, a brilliant, all-consuming read that marks the explosive debut of an extraordinary new writer. So, very exciting. I'm very excited. I think this one's going to make me cry, and I'm always looking for more that make me cry. Not a fan of the under jacket, though. I, think, I thought it would have been purple, because like, okay, there's purple. Okay, oh my god, Mom. Well, I have a small confession to make, but I think I'll wait and save it for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. What's the confession? Do you like all those books, or do you not? Well, I haven't read any of them, but my goodness, Mother! <laughs> yeah, um, I'm very grateful for this. No wonder you said don't go on your Amazon wishes. He cleared the whole thing out. I did. That was my. That's my confession. That's why I only took five minutes. <laughs> you bought everything on my wish list. Yeah, it's quicker that way. I didn't have to put any thought into it. I'm lazy like that. So there's like three more coming tomorrow, and then there was like a bunch of pre-orders on there. There's like four or five pre-orders. Oh my god, you bought all of them. Everything except for the Kindle books. I didn't oh buy those. You, you bought, so you bought our you bought um Amari Amari and the Night Brothers. If it was on the wish list, it I was a pre-order too, and that's when that's the first book I thought of. I can't believe you bought all of them. I don't think off. Jade City's coming until Friday. I don't know where they had to go to get it. <laughs> All of I cleaned out the wish list. Wow, Mom. Thank you. That wasn't necessary. But look at these. Ah! So I think there's three more coming tomorrow, and then you'll have to get on there and look when your pre-orders are coming. A couple of them are in January. One of them is the end of this month. And one of them was in May, I think. I don't know, because when I finished the order, there was already a bunch of pre-orders that you already had pre-ordered. So. Well, dang, Mom. You brought all... Good. No wonder you were like, don't. Don't add any more to the wish list. Don't I add know. any more to the like, wish don't list. Don't add any more to the wish list. <laughs> all right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you, Mom. You're going to hate your gift for me. Oh, I am not. Uh, you're going to cry. Well, that's all right. So... Some more books came today, <laughs> and I'm going to unbox them here, and then I'll talk about the ones that aren't arriving until either Friday or afterwards, because they're pre-orders, but I want to edit this video, so yeah. Um, I actually already opened this package, but then I couldn't continue filming, so in this package, there's two books. So my mom did give me Ashley Herring Blake. She got me the second book. I actually read her first novel. Uh, earlier this year in August, and I loved it so much. It's going to be one of my favorite books of 2020. So I'm very excited to read this one. This is actually a lot thicker than I thought it would be, um, but I'm excited to read this one, and hopefully I'm going to love it just as much or even more than I did Ivy's. But I'm very excited to read this one. And then in that package, there's also Foundry Side. I'm very excited to read this one. I'm kind of scared though because fantasies can be like a hit or miss, but I've heard really good things about this and the cover, the cover is stunning. I don't know if this does it justice, but like I love this flame. I love this girl here and this one's about a thief. This one's about, um, when Sunny St. James receives a new heart, she decides to set off on a new life plan, but I'm excited to read this one and this one's about a thief. Um, and that's right up my alley because I love thief, like thievery and stories about that. So I'm, I'm excited to read this one. I hope I'm going to love it. Um, and then we have this package and I believe there's a book right here and then there's pens. So that's why I got some pens. Um, but let's see what is in here. The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Gross. So I'm actually going to, I'm planning on reading this one with my granny. This one I saw off of, oh, what was her name? She does like TBR jars. Something with an R, isn't it? I don't remember her name, but she loved this book. And the main reason I added it to my wish list, or to my uh, thing, 
And then my wish list was because the sequel is fi like over 500 pages, like close to 800. And I love big books, so that really drew me in. This one's obviously not a big book, but this one deals with like the children of like, so this says, this is the child of Edward Hyde, the, um, there's uh, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson's kids, or maybe that's just actual people. Um, but there's like the kids of like the famous classic monsters and stuff like that. And I think my granny and I would really enjoy this. So I'm kind of excited to read this one. Well, I'm excited to read all of these. I won't get to them though until like after February 8th because I have Kindle Unlimited and I'm currently reading every single Harry Potter book. So yes, these are the other three books I got today. Uh, talk about some gorgeous spines. Look at those. Um, and then let's go over the books that have not arrived yet but are on their way. And I'll put a picture of them here. Here. Okay, so arriving Friday is Jade City by Fonda Lee. I wanted to read this one because it's like a mafia and like drug inspired and that is another thing that I love is like dealing with like drugs and stuff like that. I've heard the beginning though is really slow like it doesn't get going to like page 100 so it's kind of why I was uh, apprehensive to buy it um but then mom came and went and bought everything off my wish list so there's that. Then she pre-ordered um Amari and the Night Brothers which comes uh January 19th and then by the time you're seeing this I would have got Jade City. Arriving the 14th to the 21st of January, you have Wonderscape by Jennifer Bell. Um, Amari, like, brothers go missing. Wonderscape is, like, a wonder park. I'm very excited to read Wonderscape with my granny. I'm going to ask her if she wants to read it. Then May 18th, she got me My Calamity Jane uh, in paperback because it was cheaper. Then it was in hardcover, and I put the cheapest version on my uh, wish list, even if, you know... I'm going to have paperback for the first book, hardcover for the second book, and paperback for the third book. Paperback's cheaper, so we'll go with it. Um, anyway, so yeah, those are all the books that my mom bought me. That's like 18 books we counted last night, I believe. So uh, I have a ton of books. I will not be getting like any more until my birthday. I am good. I am stocked up. And um, yeah, thank you so much to my mom. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have you got any good books recently? And if you did... Which one are you most excited to read? I have no idea which one I'm most excited to read. Honestly, kind of this one that I dropped. I'm kind of, like, out of all of these, super excited to read this one. Just because the cover is even more pretty than I would have ever imagined. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go. Love you all. Subscribe. Like. Do all those fun things. I have dinner waiting for me. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you all so much. See you guys all next time, next Monday for another video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.